What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, P Money. So I wanted to address a comment that Russ Dregney left. And I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name. If it is, if it's not, I apologize. Um, none of this is really meant to be disrespectful or anything. I just feel that I have a huge um, difference in opinion than what you do. You know what I'm saying? Um, your first comment kind of led me to believe that you're of the elk of fans that don't believe Jeremy Grant is a star. And I mean, that's your prerogative. You can feel that way. Um, you feel he's not good on that good on D. I don't know what that means. Um, I think Jeremy Grant is a very good defender. Um, and he's just probably a role player like he was for in Denver. I don't I don't think that at all. I'm, I'm pretty sure what he's what he's done in Detroit has shown and proved that he's more than just a role player. You know what I mean? Um, he's definitely a starting four in this league. He's definitely one of the better options at the four position in the NBA right now. So I definitely disagree wholeheartedly, like I told you. Um, now, you say that you feel my second sentence is contradictory. Um, I don't see how that is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel his time in Detroit has proven that he can be a lead guy for a good team. Now, I'm not saying with that statement, you're saying it's contradictory. I'm not, I'm not sure how, but it's because you obviously don't know like my takes. Probably this is maybe your first time listening. I don't know. But I'm just going to let you know right now, when I say a lead guy, I mean, he is a leader on the team. He's not the best player. That doesn't mean that he has to be the best player. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's definitely going to be one of the what one of the better players on this team. That's for sure. Um, on some nights, he might be the second option. Some nights, he might be the third option. As I clarify in my third sentence, is he a number one guy? No, but a second or even third option depending on who we're going up against, is not out of the question. And that's what proves my point. This is what point I'm trying to make. Jeremy Grant can be that go-to guy other than Dane. It's going to be a different dynamic. It's not going to be um, just Dame and CJ like it used to be with Coach Stotts. Coach Billups has a different scheme on both offense and defense that Jeremy Grant would fit in very well with. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's a guy that can hit the three, hit it at 36% this season. You know, um, his field goal percentage is off, but I believe that that field goal percentage would raise playing with guys like Ant, playing with a guy like Dane, playing with a guy like Nurk. You know what I'm saying? Um, Joe Ingles. People don't really talk about him being a part of this team, but he could be a very good weapon. Um, coming back from his ACL injury, he's not going to be needed to, he's not going to be a, a guy that we're going to require him to score like 25 points a game. You know what I mean? He's just going to be a solid piece. Now, I could see Jeremy Grant averaging 20 a game for us. That's why I feel he's a very good option. Most people didn't believe that he could got, be a guy that you could get the ball to like 15 to 18 times a game and that he would be able to produce 20 points a game. He showed it twice in a row. You know what I'm saying? Um, So he's definitely, he bet on himself and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? He, he decided to bet on himself going to Detroit, going with a guy like Troy Weaver, who he believes in, you know what I'm saying? And a guy that set him up to become the player that he's, that he's becoming, you know what I mean? He's a very highly coveted player and that's very well documented. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure why you feel what I'm saying is contradictory, but that's just how I feel about Der Jeremy Grant as a player. You might not feel that way. You might see something totally different and that's fine, but like you're kind of contradicting yourself. You know what I mean? Um, Detroit is no bueno. Yes, we know. And now it's shown with Jeremy Grant being the number one option over there that he can't lead that team. You know what I'm saying? Him coming to a team like Portland and being a second option or third option on whatever night, how, whatever the matchups may be, you know? So 
I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. You know, you don't trust his defense based off what? Like, we understand that Detroit, you say it yourself, Detroit is, is not good. So you don't trust his defense because of what he's done in Detroit. <laughs> what about whenever he was on a good team? He was a very good defender. So I find that kind of disingenuous of you to do that. Now, you're saying that there's perceptions of selfishness and ball hogging. I don't see how that I need. I need documented proof of that. I need to see articles like provide me some links of this happening, because other than that, it's just an opinion. You know what I'm saying? I want to see documented proof, like maybe from Detroit or something like that. I know they've talked. I've seen some articles where they were kind of harsh on him, you know, but I need to see some documented proof that they're saying this stuff specifically, you know, um, I need some, I need some documents on that. So send me some links after this video is uploaded. You know what I'm saying? Um, you feel much more intrigued by John about John Collins and OG. Now with John Collins, I would agree with that. I would looked into pursuing John Collins more so than Jeremy Grant. But if he's not an option, then Jeremy Grant is not a bad fallback option. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not of the, I'm not a fan that feels like Jeremy Grant is going to be that, the, the pick that the Blazers do. Yes. He's in the headlines right now that the Blazers are going to acquire him. It's seeming like that, but I don't, go off that until it actually happens. You know what I'm saying? That's a very, it's a very good option. It just is, you know, Jeremy Grant is a very good player and Dane would enhance his abilities and his capabilities. I think he would be a guy that can average 20 a game next season with Dane and, and, and Nurk and Josh Hart and Joe Ingles and Nasir Little, Trenton Watford, Keon Johnson, you know, Greg Brown, <laughs> You know, like there's some guys like what I am looking for is the Blazers to build the best one through 15 roster that they possibly can. That's the best possible way that I feel that they can compete. Look at Memphis right now. Memphis, that's what they've been doing. They've gotten all their guys mostly from from the draft. Yeah, they made some trades like they traded away Valanchunas, you know, um, they got Steven Adams and that's worked out. Me personally, I didn't think that was going to work out as, as well as it as it has, but it's allowed for John Morant to shine. It's allowed for Desmond Bain to shine. Um, um, Brooks, you know what I'm saying? Um, they got Kyle Anderson. They got Zaire Williams. Um, DeAnthony Melton, you know, they got some good guys on their team. Now, can they improve? Absolutely. But look where they are right now. They've draft most of all those guys, you know, so it's there's different ways to 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 become a championship caliber team. Um, I know you guys are set on like a guy like OG on a newbie. I just don't know. Just like John Collins, I don't know if he's available or not. I don't know, you know, but he would be a player that I would pursue if he is for sure. No doubt. I'm just not set on John or. By on Jeremy Grant, like you guys like to follow what the what the media says, and a, a lot of times the media says a lot of foolishness. They just do. So I don't just go off them. I look at everything that's happening. Look at um, th there's teams out there right now, like the Jazz, like the um, the Heat, um, the Lakers. Portland could be facilitators of. Big time trades, man, like huge trades, like maybe LeBron James might come over here to Portland. I don't know how realistic that is, but it could be an option, you know? So I'm not even just looking at get Jeremy Grant like you all do. You all like to just focus on that and just feel like that is exactly what we're going to do is get Jeremy Grant. I don't know if that's true or not. I think I, I think Blazers management right now is playing chess. You know, it's not very common that the Blazers used to be out there like that, like putting out their their intentions and stuff. Yeah, that could be an option that they're pursuing and they might pursue him pretty aggressively. But if 
someone like Jimmy Butler becomes available or a LeBron or maybe even AD, I might even entertain that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, he would have to do some things for me because he keeps getting hurt and that's a problem, you know? So he would have to like probably get some of that bulk off, I would believe, because it seems like that's what's causing some of his issues. But that's that could be an option. You know what I'm saying? Like Portland is in a very interesting place that they really haven't been in Dame's era, like he stated. And I feel the same way that Dame does. And also, if Dame is a player that says he wants Jeremy Grant, I'm with him. Dame, I th I'm sure Dame understands what type of player that would help him be the player that he needs to become. He still has aspirations of becoming a, a champion. He still has aspirations of becoming an MVP. So if he has those aspirations and he feels like Jeremy Grant is a guy that could help him with that, who are who is anybody to say otherwise? You know, who is anyone to say otherwise? So that's the thing. I'm not. I like to see what happens before I make like a whole judgment on what's happening, because when you start doing that, you're going to you're going to look foolish in the end because you're going to you're so like. So dead set that we're going to get Jeremy Grant, you know, you're so dead set on that when Portland is a destination that could possibly be a place that a star wants to come like Donovan Mitchell, um, Rudy Gobert, the jazz might be breaking it up this season, you know? So we might be players for them, you know, like who's to say, like, if we get Rudy Gobert, do we, are we going to get Jeremy Grant? I don't know. You know, if we get Jimmy Butler, are we going to go for Jeremy Grant? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so we got to pump the brakes, man. That's why I keep saying that in a lot of these videos, because a lot of fans be getting set in their ways. Now, you feel that the con you feel concerned that our management negotiating these deals that after the last two subpar deals, we understand that the Blazers were looking for draft capital. Um, I think those moves lose taking Powell and Co losing Powell, Covington, CJ. Um, like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You guys are upset. You don't feel like we got what we should have in return for that. But who's to say, you know, I am i don't know right now. I can't say until there's a finished product for next season, how that deal looks right now. I can't say, and I really don't know how you can say that, you know, like we know that we're trying to tank. We got guys that are tradable assets. Um, I think Eric Bledsoe is definitely a guy, if we're not going to use him, as a very good trade chip, you know? Um, and his salary is kind of, like, can fluctuate. Like, he's only, like, guaranteed 3.8 or 3.9 million or something like that. Something something crazy, but it, it can go all the way up to, like, 19.6, you know? So, it's very interesting with that with that contract, what the possibilities are. You know, if it's already been rumored that Josh Hart was going to be a part of the deal for Jeremy Grant along with the New Orleans pick, you know, so I don't know. Are the Blazers still willing to let Josh Hart go after that, after what he's done for the team? Um, he was in the midst of one of his best seasons, like efficiency wise, all throughout the season. You know what I'm saying? So. He might be a player that's hard to get rid of, you know, like I would love to keep Josh Hart on this team for next season, you know, but if it's if he's needed to get a star, I can't really be upset about it, you know, but we just have a lot of options, man, and that's the goal. That's the, the goal that you want. You don't want to be in a place where like the Lakers are right now, they don't have, they have to get rid of players, you know, and who knows what type of deals they can even come up with to get like better players. You know, I don't know. 
Um, AD's having a down year, you know? So a team like the the Blazers might be able to get him, you know? It might be a, a possibility. It might be a possibility for LeBron. If he if he's looking to move, I don't know. I can't say. But there's going to be, it feels like there's going to be a lot of movement in this offseason. And I just felt that way from a while ago. Last offseason, I felt like the Blazers could be a possible destination if they move, if they make moves the correct way. And I feel like they've done that. They've accomplished their goal of wanting to get in the best position to have draft capital. You know, I really feel that way. Um, I like the deal that sent Nikhil Alexander Walker over to the jazz for Joe Ingles. I think that's a very underrated move that a lot of people don't even talk about. Now, I noticed you didn't even talk about that because I think you see it too, you know, but you're saying especially you're but you did say the last two subpar deals. People aren't even talking about Joe Ingles as a part of that deal, you know, people are not even talking about that, you know, so you're saying too, but you're going especially for the Powell and Covington trade. Now, I'm not as mad as as you guys are about those deals. I'm just not. I understand, like, if you're trying to tear it down um, and you're trying to rebuild with diff- a different core, then this is what it's going to look like, you know? This is going to be next season. It's not going to be like this. We're competing for a playoff seeding. Where? I'm not really sure. I need to see the whole finished product. I don't feel like we're not going to be a playoff team next year. I feel like we're definitely going to be a playoff team. I just don't know exactly where. And But I'll know more once the offseason comes and the Blazers start making deals um, and using their assets that they do have and picking up the draft, the, the players that they draft, you know. So we're going to we're going to know more. I just can't make a solid opinion one way or the other until I know for sure exactly what pieces are, are going to be on this team alongside Dame and who, like, if they, like, say they do pull off a trade that gets Donovan Mitchell over here, that's going to make me have a totally different dynamic about this team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that will be a very interesting team. That will be a very interesting backcourt. Dame and Donovan Mitchell, man. If that's a possibility, and it could be, who's to say that it's not? Who's to say Donovan Mitchell ain't trying to get up out of out of uh, Utah because it's a lot of stuff going on with, with Utah right now, and Portland could be that that uh, facilitator, you know. But we just have to wait and see. This is why I, that's why I always say. You know, and I'm very intrigued about this off season. I just am, you know, so we got to calm down, Russ, calm down, buddy. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what's going to happen yet. You can't make these types of critiques that you're making. If you want to, that's fine. But I'm going to use this because this is documented proof right here. You said this, you know, if the, if something happens and we end up getting a star, then what? What are you going to be? What are you going to say then? You know, what are you going to say? <laughs> so this is not meant to like disparage you or, or in any way. I don't even know who you are like that. I'm just using your words, you know, and clarifying what I meant. Now, Jeremy Grant could be a second option or a third option for this team, depending on what we do. I just don't feel like Jeremy Grant is all we're going to do. Like, there's so many other parts to the team that need to be tended to, you know? So I'm I'm not just focused on Jeremy Grant. I'm just not. I know there's a lot of Blazers fans out there that don't like Jeremy Grant, and they say the same things that you're saying right now, that there's all these preconceived notions that he's a ball hog and he's selfish. I just don't see that, you know? Um Dame and KD 
are two players that have really vouched for Jeremy Grant to be a part of Team USA. If he was this selfish player and a ball hog, why would they even ask for him to come? <laughs> I don't understand that, man. Like, you got to explain that to me. And I would love, I ch actually, I challenge you to respond in this video, man. I do. Give me some of them links, too, of stories, because I've not seen those types of stories. I've seen some Detroit fans kind of getting in on them, you know, and rightfully so. Like, if he was not what they expected as a number one option, cool. Be, be Have some critiques, you know what I mean? And that's understandable. Like, even though your critique is you feel like he's not a star, it's not. I'm not upset with you. You know, that's just how you feel. But it's just the way that a lot of you fans, like, come out and say this type of stuff. Like, there's a way to be critical of Jeremy Grant. Like, I, I, I've been, uh, even in my response to you, is he a number one guy? No, I can see that already, that Jeremy Grant is not a guy that can lead his team like that. As the number one, as number two, that's a different story, man. As as a number three, that that's getting, you know, like 15 shots a game. That's a different story, man, you know? So it's hard for me to, to you know, just say like, oh, yeah, for sure. There's no way, you know, I, I can't see. I'd have to see how the team is set up with him on the team. You know, with everybody, all the all the pieces, if he's the second best player on the team, you know, it is like we'll just have to see how they all mesh. Cause I can't say for sure and definitively, you know. But there is a risk that it could fail. But taking that risk is what you want to see if you really truly want to contend for a championship. And I'm gonna continuously say that I feel like Jeremy Grant is a good option for the Blazers in their quest to become championship caliber. If that is who they decide to get. Because just because I see five and six and seven articles written from all these different um, people out there, um, I'm not going to assume that that's just what we're going to do. I just don't think that way. I'm going to see what happens if, the, if Jeremy Grant is the pick. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not at all. And I will continue to say that if that's who we get, I'm going to be hyped. You know, because he's a very versatile player that I feel helps this team. You know, now. If there's some big fish out there that we could possibly get. We're going to have to push Jeremy Grant to the side a little bit, you know, like, ah. Uh, Maybe we could pursue this guy instead, you know, but we don't know all that stuff yet. All the information isn't out there yet, you know, like let the playoffs pass, you know, see if there's any more players that may be disgruntled because there could be there could be a huge turnover in players this year. I feel um, I, I've kind of been thinking that for a while, but I just like to watch it play out. I just feel like that's what's going to happen, man. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of players that would love to be able to play with Dane. Even players that some, like maybe not even me, is thinking about right now. You know? So, that's what's intriguing to me. But I don't really have too much else on this one. This is your boy P Money. Tell me what you guys think. And I'm off this. <laughs>